The story apparently goes like this. Apple being the super secretive company it is, when it was developing the iPhone more than a decade ago, kept the hardware and software team separate in order to help prevent leaks. Meaning the iOS engineers weren't allowed to test their software on what would have become final production hardware. And the hardware team wasn't allowed to test iOS 1.0. Instead, they were using something called Skank OS. This 2G iPhone that I have here is called the Skank phone. Like it literally says it right there. And from what I understand and what I just told you, this is the software that the hardware developers at Apple were using to test all of the functionality of the original iPhone. All right, so this is Skank OS. You'll notice that, yeah, this is very basic and frankly kind of ugly. And that's probably the point. Also, notice the rotating messages at the bottom of the screen. There's a couple of them. Pretty weird, right? So you'll notice there's 10 buttons on this quote home screen. There's the time up there, which is incorrect. And then it says num, no data. I don't even think there's a SIM card in here. If we press the home button, we get a sub menu down there. So let's just start and go through all of these buttons. We tap phone we get into the phone. You can jump into the camera from here, audio preferences. Okay, we can scroll through here, we can do ringtones. Does that even work? No, that doesn't work. No, that doesn't work. Audio output speaker? Nope, it still doesn't work. All right, call preferences. These aren't even things you can do in the current version of iOS. Monitor? Not sure what monitor does. Network info. Not really sure what these numbers are. Cell info, nothing here. SL info, nothing there either. Main menu, let's go back into the phone. So we can type some numbers. Nothing happens as you can see. Go to menu, go back, camera. Does that work? Yeah, that works. That that totally works. Yeah, you can take a photo, although the photo goes away very quickly. Let's go back to the main menu. All right, let's go to SMS. SMS test message one. Oh, you can dial numbers here, it seems. Okay, let's go back. SMS message two, same kind of thing. Compose a message and it crashed. Let's try it again. Compose a message. Stalling, it's stalling. I don't know what it's doing, but it's stalled out again. View messages, got nothing here. All right, web, let's see. Nothing's here, bookmarks, eBay, sign at speed test, dig, oh my goodness. Barbizon, what's Barbizon? 10.1.4, add, go, yeah, that's not gonna work. Web, Apple, Go, nah. That's interesting though, those bookmarks are interesting. Media, music, pictures, video. Pictures, can we do it? Is it just scrolling through them automatically? I think it is just scrolling through them automatically. Weird, weird. Okay, can I go back and I hit the home button? Yup, media, video. Can we do video? No, it's probably gonna freeze. Yup, that froze. Okay, let's see, network settings. GSM settings, okay. Select network, getting network list. Yeah, that's never gonna work. Wi-Fi settings, can we not go in there? I guess we can't go in there. I might have frozen the phone. Yeah, it looks like I froze the phone. Okay, network settings, Wi-Fi settings. Wi-Fi is on, it's not detecting any of the networks, naturally. Notice that this bar of choices is down there as well. Let's get out of here. Froze it again. I managed to freeze the damn thing, so I had to do a hard reboot, press and hold the home and power button, and that works. And while we're waiting for this to reboot, unfortunately, I plugged it into my computer and I cannot do a QuickTime screen recording like I did with my last video. All right, we're back. We were in network settings, Bluetooth settings. Let's go back. Development settings. Baseband reset, wow. Don't know what any of that other stuff does. Network settings, preferences, color ID blocking mode, okay. Notice how all the buttons are so plain and just 
It's just so basic and plain. Almost looks like a very old version of like Windows 95 or some super old version of the Mac. LCD screen on, backlight on, multi-touch on, airplane mode on. Hibernate H1 chip. I don't wanna mess with any of this cause I wanna continue making this video. So that's power settings, more other. First of all, where's the regular other? Do we have the other? No, we don't even have the other down there, but more other. Brightness, you can change the brightness from here. Yep, you can, that works. Main menu, other, field test, network info. I think we were in here before. More info, terminal. Whoa, whoa, that's cool. Look, it says skank phone. Couldn't create share.ch file or direction. Yeah, I don't really know what any of this stuff means, so I'm just gonna go back. More other quit, shut down, not gonna do either of those. Playground, tracker, accelerometer. Accelerometer? Can I make that ball go that way? Oh yeah, check that out, you totally can. It's kind of like a game. Let's go that way, come on, come on, accelerometer. Come on, accelerometer, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the, the focus is a little off, but you can we can tilt that way, check that out, we can go back that way to stop it. Come on, go back that way to, yeah, you get the point. All right, let's go back, reset, let's go back. Tile game, did I freeze the phone again? I think so. Let's go menu, all right. Playground mission control. What is this? Is this again with the camera? No, not with the camera. Not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing with this, but this is a terrible, terrible, ugly graphic, jeez. Let's hit the test tools, ping google.com, x10. That's just bringing me back into the terminal. Test tools, ping google, I guess so. Test tools, run iperf, custom Bluetooth automation. What's this? Blank, blank, Bluetooth. Run script, nothing. All right, operator, operator, hello, operator, anyone there? Did I freeze the phone again? Nope, we got the operator working, check this out. This is the camera right there, you can see me messing with it. So this is like kind of all of the sort of quote moving parts, I guess is the way to do it on the iPhone, but check that out. So button press, it registers a button press. I can change the uh, volume rocker here and you see the speaker icon change. Like you can go volume up and volume down and it totally works. Microphone, that doesn't work. Ambient light, not really sure. Wi-Fi, some of this stuff doesn't work it seems. Serial number, Cheerios, I'm not sure what's up with that. Maybe that's a tribute to Marquez. Battery says it's at 73%, but this thing will not stay charged. And then the accelerometer uh, kind of takes a second to register there. It's a little bit slow, but you can see it's kind of changing. Weird, right? And then these three arrow buttons don't really work. And then just the shortcuts down here, menu, phone, SMS, web, and preferences kind of repeats itself. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is a look at Skank OS. So strange, right? And what's kind of interesting to me is a couple of years ago when Apple and Samsung were in court and when I was working at The Verge, we got a trove of never before seen iPhone hardware prototypes, yet I personally have never seen such a deep dive into the Skank phone slash Skank OS. And it's just generally interesting to me how much effort, time, energy, resources goes into making something like this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning into this video. Leave it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I'll see you in the next video.